Hey everybody, what's up? It's Ryan Gruss at The Loop Loft, and in this video, I'm gonna talk a little bit about taking acoustic drum loops and converting them into MIDI drum loops to open up a whole new world of possibilities with sounds and, and uh, just variations on uh, a standard acoustic drum loop. So right now we're listening to our Indie Rock Drums Volume 2 release, uh, and we're inside the White Keys session folder. Um, and as you can hear, it's kind of a straight ahead meat and potatoes indie rock drum sound, a vintage kit with a lot of compression on the, on the room sound, um, very much like the Black Keys uh, drum sound, as you might have guessed. Uh, so let's scroll through some of these different loops here. So that has a snare, snare drum back beat on it, and let's just bring that into live. And today we're working inside of Ableton Live 9, which has some very cool features built in for converting uh, drum tracks, acoustic uh, audio drum tracks to MIDI loops. So to do that, you simply just right click on the loop once it's loaded uh, into your session and select the convert drums to new MIDI track. And it's basically going to analyze what it hears with the, you know, where the kick drum is and the snare drum is and the hi-hats are and assign those actual notes of transients to MIDI notes. Um, so you, it's built into Live 9, but you can also do this with uh, some other plugins like Melodyne, and there's a few others out there. Um, but using this in Ableton is, as you just saw, super easy to do, just a matter of, of right clicking. So it's taken this loop and it's converted it to this MIDI track. Let's hear the result. I'm going to just stop the acoustic track and fire up the MIDI track. So off the bat, completely different. Uh, you know, it's loading up kind of the factory default drum kit, sort of an 808 kit, I believe. Um, but it's the same groove. It has the same feel. It's not quantized. It's got a little bit of a swing to it on, on, the, on that uh, snare drum. And the cool thing is now, now that it's in the MIDI world, we can easily change drum kits, you know, the, the entire sound. So um, I have a bunch of kits here from the Ableton 9 suite, and I'm just going to randomly load a couple and see what it comes up with. So again, a whole nother world. So that one's kind of cool, kind of a dry, but in your face uh, sound. So now we can start mixing this in with the acoustic drum. To kind of fatten up the sound or to layer it. You know, one thing I like to do a lot of times is use this as kind of an arrangement tool. So maybe you just want your song to start off with the MIDI track kind of dry and, you know, not quite fully natural yet. And as the song progresses, you know, have another scene set up where the acoustic tracks are layered in. So say you're coming into a verse. And right there, you've got the layer of the acoustic coming in and it matches up, you know, perfectly with with the MIDI track. Um, so that's cool. Let's find another completely type of groove, different type of groove and layer that on top. Um, and again, convert it to MIDI. So I'm going to go back to my loops here and let's see here. Let's go to our cinematic drums and just again Doing this on the fly, I have no idea what's going to be in here. Um, let's preview some of these. So this is from the cinematic set, and this is uh, me drumming on a bunch of different buckets. Just uh, random plastic buckets, but it has a very cool kind of cinematic sound to it. So as you can hear, it's obviously not a drum kit, but I'm going to convert that to MIDI anyway. And it takes a second. So now we've got a MIDI, and again, it's going to default to that 808 kit. So, you know, completely different instruments from the buckets, obviously, but those grooves are totally matching up. So if we solo or mute these other tracks, stop these other tracks, 
So maybe we want to make that, you know, kind of a breakdown section of the song. So you can go from the original groove, the indie rock groove, to this cinematic breakdown. Or again, with arranging, you can just bring in those loops and layer them all together. And then back to the MIDI intro. So cool, I just wanted to show you a quick and easy way to take your acoustic loops and quickly get them into the MIDI world and experiment and have fun. Um, again, I'm doing this in Ableton 9, but uh, there's other plugins out there that can give you the same results in other software. But uh, check it out, right click on those loops, convert to MIDI and have some fun. And we'll see you again soon. All right guys, take care, later.